one. Hey, Dave Spalding, Handgun Combatives. Sorry we haven't brought you a new YouTube video in a while, but quite frankly, 2017 was a crazy year for Handgun Combatives. We have just been on the go constantly. As a matter of fact, this is the first weekend I've had off in months. Keep in mind, just because there's not a class scheduled on the website doesn't mean I'm not doing something else for a private entity or a law enforcement agency, so keep that in mind. What we thought we would do in this video is we'd bring you a little information based around an argument that I saw on the internet this week, and I can't remember where it was at, Facebook, whatever the case, but it was basically two factions of people that were arguing over whether or not you should look at the holster when you put the gun away. Some said it was a law enforcement thing because you gotta put the gun away while you're taking people into custody, while others said that as an armed citizen you shouldn't be putting the gun away until you're done with it. Um, I guess they made some good arguments on both sides. What I kind of thought about the whole thing is it was silly because there is methodologies to put the gun away reliably the same way each and every time without looking at it. It was something I probably learned in the late 1970s, maybe early 1980s with revolvers and thumb brake holsters. Keep in mind, thumb brakes were the security device of my generation. Everybody had them and we needed to put the gun away around them. How did we do that? Well, if you remember the strap that's over top, we had to get the barrel back around it to get it in the holster. Darren, if I can get you to kind of zero in, this is the new Handgun Combatives Essential Daily Carry Rig, and it's a really nice holster. But the thumb brake rested right about here, and even if it was unsnapped, it stayed right there. So if you tried to put the gun straight in, it was in the way. So what we did is we brought the barrel of the revolver back past it, rotated into the holster pouch, snapped it up. Well, the same thing applies to the semi-automatic pistol, except what you do is you just rotate the dust cover into place. What's great about that is the gun comes up, it goes out, and it goes back in the holster the same way. It comes straight back past the body, rotate it into the holster pouch, put it away, very easy, don't have to, don't have to look at it. When I was filming my Pantio videos recently, several of the cameramen were kind of amazed. They said, you put your gun away each and every time, never have a problem with it. Um, whereas a lot of our other instructors kind of struggle getting it back into place. Well, it's because they're trying to go muzzle down. Keep in mind, if you're going muzzle down, you're trying to go here like this. And if you don't get it in the right spot, kind of like threading a needle, then things start to happen where people start turning the gun like this. Do you see the problem we're gonna have here? You don't wanna do that. You wanna keep the muzzle straight forward of your body because all the people in the world, you don't wanna accidentally, inadvertently, or negligently shoot your number one. So gun goes straight out, it comes straight back, rotates into the holster pouch, no problem. What if you've got a concealing garment like a jacket? It's not a big deal. All you have to do is as you're coming back, just make contact with your torso, with your elbow, drag the garment back out of the way, put it back in. Now you're gonna say, well, gee, Dave, what about the ever popular appendix carries? No problem. Just so happened that I have a Raven Eidolon here, which is a wonderful representation of this breed. We'll put this in place real quick for you. And we'll show you that the technique will work just fine okay there we go so what do we do we rotate the dust cover into the holster pouch a lot of people are always talking about the dangerous thing about appendix is you're pointing your gun at your nads well first of all when the gun is right here it is pointed at your body but when you're putting the gun here it's also pointed at your body if you don't think so just check into one of those shootings where somebody had their finger on the trigger and they put it in the holster, boom, right down their leg. Now, down the side of your leg probably isn't as critical as it is near your uh, male organs or your femoral artery, which is all the more reason to be careful. But rotating the dust cover in does the same thing. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna keep the muzzle over here someplace. So I'm gonna bring it back, I can just lean back a little bit, I can rotate the dust cover into place, done. Draw from the holster, up, out, rotate it back in, boom. Now, close front garment, how do I do that? Well, the obvious thing would be, would be to lift it up with your, your, your uh, off hand, put the gun away. What if this off hand is doing something? 
Again, not a problem. Flag your thumb, lift up under the garment, bring it up, rotate the dust cover into place. You put the gun away without pointing it at you any more than is necessary because you've got a close holster right next to your body. Rotating the dust cover into place, or if you're still a revolver guy, the barrel works very, very well. Keeps the gun away from you. It keeps it in the direction that it was coming from anyway, and you can do it without looking at the holster. So you got enhanced situational awareness. It's really not an argument, folks. I don't know why people do. Dave Spaulding, Handgun Combatives, thanks for checking in.